And now let us hear from Aslan Perdomo. Um, thank you for this uh, opportunity. It's a real pleasure to be here. Um, I would like to begin with the clip. It's uh, a performance by Jeremiah Ingram, a civil rights lawyer and jazz tap dancer. And I can do Very powerful. <laughs> um, Jeremiah Ingram, a civil rights lawyer and jazz tap dancer, brought a powerful performance to Brandeis University during Dice Impact 2016, the staring clearly how art, historical civil rights narrative, and academia juxtapose to inspire social transformation. I aim to exploit TAP's capacity to tell stories and illuminate cultural roots and connections, Ingram says. Her performances in which she continues her social justice work begun as a civil rights lawyer seek alternative ways of interpreting the African-American experience and her recitals awaken and invigorate the spirit of members of her audience. Art is an ideal vehicle for challenging the constructed social differences that lead to stereotypes and social inequality and discrimination. Through her tap dancing, Ingram confronts preconceived ideas and history, offering a new understanding on social issues. Prior to becoming a full-time artist, she worked for 30 years as a lawyer and civil rights attorney. A case in point is her performance, Freedom Under Food, which is a reflection on the internal conflicts of enslaved, free, white, black, southern women during the time of slavery, culminating in the dreadful final years of the Civil War in Atlanta. Specifically, she examines the complex relationship between Ona Judge an 18th century slave in Martha Washington. The tension caused by this power dynamic is clearly accentuated throughout the piece. When Martha Washington first left Mount Vernon to assume her role as the president's wife, she brought with her a slave girl, Ona Judge, who was probably 15 or 16 years old at the time. Judge assisted Washington in the most intimate details of her life, helping her bathe, 
dressing her and doing her hair. She listened to Washington's queries, complaints, and personal confessions. One summer, Ona Judge escaped. Washington felt outraged and betrayed by Judge's escape. After learning about Ona Judge, the slave that inspired the creation of freedom under food, I could not stop thinking about the feeling of being trapped that many of us have in our everyday life, whether we're people of color, women, immigrants, disabled, mentally ill, or people dealing with the justice system. To be sure, civil rights legislation changed the social order, at least initially. But over the course of time, the justice system has become steadily more corrupt, and these days tends to favor corporation and the financial sector. There is less space for regular people to tell their stories in the legal arena and a lack of funding prevents the poor from assessing legal representation and fighting for legal reform. Even though it's the only option for many people, the justice system overlooks fundamental hu human values, thereby creating a modern industry of slavery. Legality seems to be a matter of power, not justice. Art, in contrast, can affect change by reaching people's emotional and intuitive side. Nonetheless, in order for art to have an impact in the community, it needs to be accessible to everyone, which it isn't given the corporatization of art and the tendency of society to value only art that is commercially successful. Universities, however, can fight this by creating spaces where students not only meet the requirements to graduate, but also gain experience and take risks as they grapple with universal themes and social issues. Educational institutions have the means and influence to implement change by promoting conversations among artists, activists, and academics. One performance at the time, one conversation at the time. Can Ingram's art awaken traditionally minded people like Martha Washington and transform the social order? Can art in an academic setting initiate change in a lawmaker's perspective? Having a voice is a civil way of protesting, denouncing, and reflecting on pressing social issues. That is impact by providing the space to these unique events to take place and encouraging evocative conversations allows our community to move forward and improve. There is no hope for our future if we do not treat every person with respect and disregard the civil rights of others. Thank you. Still beaming. Thank you so much. It was incredible. And I, when I read your paper, I couldn't quite get over the courage of um, Ona, the slave uh, girl, and um, and the tap dancer. Both. I am reminded of um, the words of one of our founding trustees, Eleanor Roosevelt, um, when it comes to courage, and she said something like this, <clears throat> in my best Eleanor voice. Courage is so much more exhilarating than fear, and in the long run, it's easier. One must do what one thinks you cannot do. Now, pretty good, right? That's good. Uh, 